Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today's going to be another about me um, type of video. We don't do these very often, but there's something that crossed my mind that I think, hmm, I figured if I discussed it'd be worth a while, I suppose, for me. So I've never been very much into sugar. Um, it doesn't particularly mean I don't like the items that sugar is in. If I didn't, I'd probably have some blood related problems but realistically I'm just not the kind of person who I was that kid who what was my dessert cooked broccoli cooked carrots and the like the Velveeta cheese you dip it in yeah I was that weird kid but either way um Every once in a while, when I do acknowledge that I'm like low on energy, well, I there are not that's bad phrasing for what I'm trying to explain. Every once in a while, I'll be able to acknowledge when I'm low on blood sugar or you know something like that. So what I end up doing is I actually end up um, just getting something small, like what's in front of me, ice cream, um, specifically mint. Because for some weird reason, I prefer either mint or vanilla. Okay, a lot of you might not find that weird, but still. And I'll have like one or two bowls of that. That will probably be the only sugar outside of soda that I'll have for days. I guess this is just how I've kind of... It, it wasn't a matter of... It's never been a matter of parents taught me to dislike sugar or taught me that sugar was bad. That that was never the case. In fact, my younger brother, who, eight years younger than I am, um, when he was younger, he actually used to have, like, Eggo waffles drenched in powdered sugar. And my parents just went with it. I find it funny looking back on it, but it, that's the perfect example of how much they're... They're not against sugar. Too much, obviously, could be a bad thing, but they're not against it in any kind of... Having a lot of sugar for a kid, come on. But where it came from, I actually cannot say. I have no idea. I think it's just kind of how my personality grew me to be. Um, which makes me wonder where all my energy comes from, because it's strange. I don't have a lot of sugar a lot of the time. When I do, it's just to help balance out, like, you know, calories, um, sugars, saturated or unsaturated fats, all that kind of stuff. Now, am I a health freak? No. <laughs> Not even by... I am far from that. I mean, for the most part, I do have a tendency, like, because I work at fast food uh, as, as like a first job, I do have a tendency to eat that food a lot. So, no. By no degree am I a health freak. But I do try to balance myself so I don't get more than I need. Sure, I do still eat a lot of things that can be considered extremely unhealthy if you have too much of it, but that's why when I do eat it, I eat very little of it. For example, um, like like I've talked about before, I work right currently as I'm making this video, I work at Arby's. Um, usually when I come home with food, I'll bring like one item for me and what if Pink Fox requests something, I'll bring home for whatever she requests. Um, I'll bring one item. Generally, it's usually a wrap. Um, like a chicken one, specifically. I don't know what it is, but I seem to like chicken more than any of the other meats there. Um, but that's it. It'll be that and a drink. Now, every once in a while, I will add another thing. But, generally, it is just the one item. Because, realistically, I'm one of those people who I do... Because of all the movement I do, I get a lot of calories burned. But that 
doesn't exactly excuse the fact that the items that I eat have they have a lot of calories, but they also have a lot of fats in them. And yes, the moving around the job that I have does the amount of moving around it causes me to do does allow me to, you know, get rid of a lot of a lot of that. I still will always have a little bit of excess. So that's why I usually only have a little bit of amount. Now, how does this pertain to the sugars aspect? Well, this large example applies in the same manner towards sugars. This bowl that I showed you guys earlier, this one here, um, that is just two large scoops, like ice cream scoops of ice cream. That's it. That's it. And the only reason I'm having it is because I'm trying, I want my energy levels to be up so I can actually work on what I need to work on. Um, as far as your guys' entertainment goes, I want to have that mindset that I need to have. The wonder-like mindset that usually comes with a child. I feel like this is why sugars, for me specifically, are important. That energy and wonder in a child's mind is very important, I feel like, when it comes to running this channel, hosting it. Is it detrimentally necessary? That one's dependent on you. In fact, I have actually gotten comments that say, grow up, you're not a child you're an adult, blah, 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 like all those kind of things. Not those exact words, but you get the point. I see those comments and I'm like, do you have any idea what kind of channel you're watching? It's comedic. Yeah, sure, the vlogs like this one are serious, but they're meant to be. These vlogs are meant to be for those who don't like the opposing. The alternative, the secondary videos, which is the type of video this channel started with, are meant for those who like one, humor, two, gaming, or three, both. If you don't like that, or reactions in general, if you don't like that kind of stuff, this channel's just, those videos are not for you. So watch these instead. You want a more serious attitude, watch these. Watch these live videos. If you like derpiness and goofiness, like, if you like that mindset of a child who likes, you know, goofing around a lot or being an imbecile, I guess is word for those who probably claim the kind of things that I'm talking about, then go watch the secondary videos. I mean, they're edited in a way where half of them zoom up and emphasize that, hey, pay attention to the fact that this is a reaction type video. Even if it's comedic, it's still a reaction video. The video isn't to showcase gameplay. It's to showcase my response to the gameplay that I am doing. And even when it's not that, there are videos on here where I react to other video type things. For example, I don't know if it's... It had to be trimmed down a little bit, but... Um, the Super Mario Bros. movie... Um, you know, the, not the one from the 80s. I reacted to the second trailer to it, and I loved it. I loved it. Sure, it was a bit weird to hear Chris, Chris's voice, Chris Pratt's voice, as Mario instead of Charles Martinet, but I can accept it because it's a movie. It's not reality. It's a freaking movie based off of... It's a fictional movie based off a fictional game. And my response is the point of that video in the first place. Like, what I just gave off was like half of the response I gave in that, in short. The point of this channel is reaction. Childlike reaction. Bring out the child and the energy that's left in me. And in the long haul, this may become very important for me anyway. That's why I do it. B 
But once again, to revert back to the whole sugar thing, this is why I have sugar. I have sugars at a balanced pace, and not a lot of it. But the reason I have them at all in the first place is one, you do need sugars in your body for your blood to flow properly. But two, and this is the more psychological, psychologically important one for me, is that it helps me touch base with myself when I first created the channel and what the point of the channel was. To make me make Pink Fox, make Aaron, make anyone who watches it laugh if it helps. I don't know. These are my thoughts on the matter. Um, some people may not watch the platform for that kind of thing. If that's the case, that's fine. But, I don't know. What are your guys' opinion on this kind of uh, idea? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> um, if you like this About Me type video, make sure to give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel because, I mean, we don't do About Me as often as the other vlogs, but um, every once in a while one will pop up. But if you want to check out any of the other ones, click the link on this side of my head, and you'll be able to see quite a few of them, actually. Click the link on the other side, and you might find something that might float your boat a bit more if this isn't quite your cup of tea. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for tuning in this video, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.